Hey there, Unsolved Mysteries fans. We were Legacy back at you with another video. Um, so this video is uh, going to be about uh, the case of Gary Grant Jr. Now, Gary Grant Jr. was the son of a police officer, um, and yeah, he was uh, he was killed. I think yeah, he was only uh, seven years old. Which is this is a sad case, man. To kill a kid, I don't know who the hell would want to kill a kid, man. Like an innocent kid that couldn't even fight back. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm gonna get into this case right now. I've got Unsolved Mysteries Wiki up on uh, my laptop here, and um, I'll go over the details of the case right now with you. All right, so <clears throat> a teachers conference on Thursday, January 12th, 1984, gave seven-year-old. Gary L. Grant Jr. of Atlantic City, New Jersey, the day off school. At breakfast, he mentioned to his mother in May that he had an appointment at 2.30 p.m., the details of which were secret. Around noon, he went outside to play, saying he'd be back by 4 o'clock p.m. Uh, when he failed to return, his mother began to worry. She went uh, to the house where two of Gary's friends lived, and they said that Gary had been there, but had left to go home around 4.30 p.m. After two hours passed, May called her husband, uh, Gary L. Grant Sr., a police detective. Uh, Gary Sr. took the night off and searched the area fruitlessly around 1 or 2 a.m. By Friday morning, the police were searching for Gary. Uh, Gary Sr. was prevented from joining the official uh, search due to regulations, so he began investigating independently. Uh, during his investigation, he met several people who remembered seeing Gary early that morning. A man named uh, Robert Huey, Huey realized that uh, the disappearance was near a warehouse he owned and searched the property. Um, at 3.30 p.m. on Saturday, he discovered Gary's body in a vacant lot near the warehouse, less than two blocks from his home. Police noted that he had been bludgeoned to death and that a length of pipe was near his body. Around the same time, Gary Sr. came upon the scene and had to be restrained when he realized what happened. Nearly two years later, on January 4, 1986, a message left on the side of a police car was discovered around 3 a.m. The message read, Gary Grant is dead. I am living. Another will die on uh, one twelve eighty six if all goes right. The date inscribed was the second anniversary of Gary's murder. Uh, a few weeks later, another message was found, scratched onto the, into the sidewalk, uh, reading, Gary Grant Jr. lives. I still killed him. Son of a pig officer. Payback is an MF. Uh, this message led to the belief that Gary was killed as revenge against his father, possibly by somebody he arrested. On the day Gary's body was found, investigators began questioning people in the area. One person mentioned seeing Gary on Thursday near the local middle school with Carl Boo Mason, a developmentally disabled 12-year-old friend. Uh, when questioned, Carl said he last saw Gary on Wednesday when they rode their bikes at Texas Avenue Park. Uh, the two planned to meet on Thursday, but Gary never showed up. Uh, many, people that, many people that detectives questioned said Carl and Gary had met on Thursday. By midnight, Carl, accompanied by his grandmother, was taken to police headquarters. He was separated from his grandmother at, and questioned. His responses were inconsistent and his uh, recollection frequently changed. Around 3 a.m., Carl said that said he had not only been with Gary at the crime scene, but that he had hit him, uh, leaving when Gary fell and didn't stand up again. Uh, police felt Carl knew things only the killer would know and typed up a confession for him and his grandmother to sign. Though he insisted he hadn't worried Gary, Carl signed the confession, believing he would go home if he did. Carl was charged with murder and moved to a juvenile detention center. On Sunday, January 15th, Carl was given a polygraph exam, which yielded inclusive results. inconclusive results. A second exam was given on January 18th. Both, both tests agreed that Carl was telling the truth about not killing Gary, but doubted he was telling the truth about not being at the crime scene. A month after Carl's arrest, a hearing uh, determined that Carl's confession was not admissible evidence, as none of the statements were made voluntary. The charges against Carl were dropped. Um, Gary Sr. believes Carl's older brother, who was arrested on robbery charges days before Gary's murder, 
may have tried to force Gary into taking part in a scheme where he used children to rob houses. In such situation, Gary, the son of a police officer, would likely refuse and instead try to inform the police, which could have led to his murder as an attempt to silence him. Um, yeah, so the results, so it's still unsolved, and Gary's murder has never been caught, murderer has never been caught, nor identified, nor has the author of the messages. So, you know, I'm kind of leaning towards, um, what Gary Sr., um, what Gary Sr.'s theory is, that, you know, it was, that it was Carl's older brother, um, you know, it makes sense, um, you know, because apparently, like it said in the article, he was in a scheme where he used children to rob houses. So maybe somehow him and um, Carl um, got around there, and um, Gary Jr. was there, and I guess maybe Carl had asked him to do some sort of robbery, which uh, Gary said no, and then Gary or not Gary, uh, you know, Carl's older brother may have killed Gary, and, you know, um, that would explain why Carl, um, would know that, um, you know, Gary didn't get up, and that he was hit or something, you know, I don't know, maybe the brother told him to say that if he was, if he ever, um, was caught, that's kind of what I'm leaning towards, you know, I don't know, it's, it's one of those cases, you know, where it could have been anything happened, really. You know, it could have been just some random stranger. It could have been Carl's older brother. Um, you know, I don't, I really don't know. It's one of those cases, but and you know, it's one of those it's one of those sad cases, you know, that you can't really come up with it, like a good theory for, um, other than the one which um, Gary's father had presented. Uh, you know, I don't know if he's if. Uh, Gary Sr. is still alive or not, but if he is, you know, um, and, and the rest of, uh, Gary Jr.'s family, you know, I hope that someday, um, this case gets solved and they can find peace, you know, uh, they definitely, you know, any family that has to go this, or go through this definitely deserves, you know, some, you know, peace, because they gotta, they gotta live, um, through the anniversary of what happened each each year and like you know each day it's on their mind that they don't know what happened or they, have, they may have different theories on what may have happened you know it's just it's one of those cases man and it's always been you know these cases you know they're sad but you know they've always kind of fascinated me because there's so many different ways that it could go you know, so many different theories that could be presented. Um, you know, I really don't have a whole lot of theories for this case just because of the, how it went down. And you know, like, with the, with the messages on the car and stuff like that, um, you know, all I can really come up with is a four theory is Gary Sr.'s theory, which is of Carl's older brother, or somebody just totally different, you know? somebody, some random stranger maybe, I don't know, um, that's really all I can come up with for that. But yeah, you know, um, I figured it'd be a case, you know, it'd be a good case to do, which it is. I'm sure a lot of you probably have theories on it, so, um, if you want to discuss that in the comments, you can. Um, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, um, you know, like I said before, comment, I can do it. I like hearing people's different theories on the cases, and, uh, you know, I like discussing them, too, with other people, so. Uh, you know, I may have another one tonight, I'm not really sure, but we'll see, um, but yeah, you know, that's pretty much it, um, for this video, you know, it's just, it's one of those sad cases that, you know, could have so many different theories. Uh, but yeah, you know, that's pretty much just all I have to say. And, um, yeah, you know, I'll see you in the next one. Wayward out.